Hello everyone, welcome and welcome back to My Kitchen by Nana. Hope you're all fine. So today I'm sharing with you how I make my samosas. I'm going to be making vegetable samosas today and what I'm using is fresh peas. So I'm going to boil the peas for about 30 minutes. We don't want them uh, very soft, we just want them like to cook. And for the veggies, the rest of the veggies I'm using red onions, garlic, carrots, fresh coriander leaves and green paper. The perfect time to eat a samosa is any time of the day. You can have them during breakfast, during lunch, dinner, any time of the day is okay to have a samosa. You can always make as many as you want and then you keep them as snacks for the kids or any other members of your family. So for the dry ingredients, I'm using half a teaspoon of mixed spice, a quarter teaspoon of black pepper, half a teaspoon of coriander powder, and half a teaspoon of chicken curry powder. And then I'm going to cook them with the fresh uh, ingredients for about uh, three minutes before adding the peas to our pan. One of the tricks to having a tasty samosa is having tasty samosa filling. You have to uh, give the filling the right ingredients and the right spices and give your filling enough time to cook. And trust me, your samosa will be delicious from the outside to the inside. I'm now adding half a teaspoon of salt to the peas and I'm going to stir them for about uh, a minute and then I'll cover the peas and let them cook for about five minutes. Before I knead the dough, I'm going to first prep the water that I'm going to use for kneading. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to blend some carrots, red onions and garlic in the water which I would use for kneading. Why uh, I'm adding some ingredients to the water is because I need my samosa sheets to have some taste. I'm using four cups of all-purpose flour and then I'm going to add half a teaspoon of salt to the flour and then I mix everything very well. So for the water, I'm using two cups of water which I use during the blending process. So I'm adding it to the flour and then I'm going to knead until our flour becomes soft. I'm adding one and a half tablespoons of oil to the flour and I'm going to continue kneading until the flour is soft. Don't forget the oil, it's really helpful in this process. It helps the dough to become soft. Transfer the dough to a flat surface and then continue kneading. The flat surface helps to ease the process. It's easier to knead the dough on a flat surface. Uh, you can use your kitchen countertop or anything that is flat. We roll this as if you're rolling a uh, chapati. But the difference between this and chapati is that this has to be very thin. The layer has to be very, very thin. I 
I'm going to heat the samosa sheets in my oven. In case you don't have an oven, you can use a big frying pan to heat them and place flour in between every samosa sheet. I'm only going to place them in the oven for about only five minutes. This is how they look like when they're out of the oven. They didn't stick on each other and they also didn't break. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to get a knife and I cut off the edges that I don't want. Cut the sheets into four equal shapes and in case there is anything that you've missed out in this video or any information please check out the description box I'm going to write everything for you down below I made a mixture of water and flour to make a thick paste which I'm using to put on the samosa sheets to make a nice samosa shape. Add the filling to this shape that you have made and then after what you're going to do is to just uh, cover it and then put a filling and make a nice triangular shape just like these ones. Make sure your oil is cooked and hot and then add the samosas one by one and then fry until they are golden brown. Subscribe to My Kitchen by Nana. The subscribe button is just down below in red. Also hit the notification bell to notify you whenever I do upload. In case of any comments about this specific video, please leave them down below in the comment section and also don't forget to check the description box for all the ingredients and all the measurements that I've used in this video. Turn the samosas when they start browning on one side and change them so that they cook through and also keep an eye on them we don't want our samosas to burn. I hope you've liked this tutorial. Uh, I think it has been very easy and also you can make the samosas for your kids party you can make them for your home they came out very tasty you should try it out and in case you do just leave your feedback down below in the comment section bye bye